Hello, welcome back to Pokemon Stadium, the Let's Play with Nia Rambler. Right then, last time we did the first three gym leaders of the Gym Leader Castle, but now we're going to go back to the stadium and tackle another trophy, and that will be the Pika Cup. The Cup Tournament opens to the lowest level Pokemon. Strategy is the key here. We shall see. This is actually one of my favourite cups of the game. It is very hard, but I enjoy it. I'm not sure... If our team that we've currently got here, that I've got set up, will be up for it, but it's worth the go. Um, there is a little bit of exploitation going on here, which I will talk about later. But for now, let's choose our team, and let's get on with it. So we go against Bug Boy, who we went up against in Rock's Gym Tower. So this time he hasn't actually got as many bug Pokemon as before. He has got the Venonat, or Venomy, which is the other bug Pokemon that I forgot about last time um, and Paris or Parry who's the other bug type that I forgot about as well as Kakuni and Buttery but he's also got two poison types with Echini and Nidori so I think Sam's going to be a good bet for this one followed by Robbie and then we'll throw Paige in as well why not it's underway Pokemon Tournament Pika this is a tournament for passionate, young, up-and-coming Pokémon. Yeah, you say that. This is just one of those derpy tournaments that is just here to make it artificially harder for us. But either way, we are going to begin. Like I said, it's one of my favourite tournaments, this. It only has the one tier. There's no Pokéball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball. You just go straight into it. And that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to go straight into it by using a Psychic. Sam here, who is Starmie, is that versatile Pokémon I've talked about a lot. It's not super effective, but it does the job. Uh, like I said, you don't mess around with this cup. It starts relatively easy, but it gets hard very quickly. Because there's only one tier. It's the Venonat, is it? Well, that's fine. I am going to use Psychic again, I think. I, uh, I'm pretty sure that will take care of Venomy no problem at all. It does indeed. Fabulous. I should take him out one hit. And there you go. It's a one hit wonder. Excellent. So yeah, um, I like it because it's an unusual tournament. It is low level Pokemon. As is the case for this. That's the point of it. Um, but it can get very technical very quickly. It's one of those ones whereby don't take it for granted. Um, but that's just my memory of it. I mean, it could very well be that it's actually easy that I'm giving it credit for, but I remember enjoying it when I was younger. And as a result, we have basically whitewashed all of Bug Trainers or Bug Boys Pokemon. Well, as Sam, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And like I said, I've, it's not as easy as this throughout the tournament, only for the beginning. Bug Boy really is an introductory trainer bless his heart he's not in gen 1 he's not really a formidable threat at all i mean in the games red blue and yellow he appears very early on he's just the sort of tutor sort of tutee sort of you know trainer as is this guy lad oh i believe in the game it was called youngster but i believe the reason why they changed some of the names is due to character restrictions could be wrong there but it is what it is so yeah, so he has got a Pidgeotty, a Far Farfetch'd, which we've seen before, a Sprouty, a Geodee, a Zubatty, which we've seen before, and then Ivysaur. Yeah, okay, quite a diverse range of Pokemon, some flying, some grass, some rock. We can see that. Um, Sam, again, would be the best bet for this one, but let's change it up a bit. Let's bring up Paige, then Kerry, and then... Yeah, let's bring Sam as well, just to back things up a bit. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Probably an easy one, but we'll see. Now, when I said that I've hacked this a bit, when I say hacked it, I mean I've exploited this, is what I should say, a little bit. Um, that is down to Paige here, who, as you can see, is a Dragonite. Um, there is no way in the original games that you could get a Dragonite at level 15. Much less a Dragonair, even, at level 15. Sometimes it's actually quite hard to get a Dratini, the basic form of Dragonite, at level 15. But for some reason, 
this tournament has a few oversights. So if you were to use rental Pokemon, uh, I do not believe Page or Dragonite is actually a choice. It's it, You could get Dragonair, I think, but you cannot get Dragonite. But for some reason, if you do use exploits, which I did use um, to get a, a level 15 Dragonite, then it will accept it in terms of allowing you to choose it for the tournament. I don't know why. Never understood it. But there you go. And then the reason why I put Paige in is because Paige has Dragon Rage. Now, Dragon Rage is a bit of an overpowered move in this uh, tournament because Dragon Rage does a fixed 40 damage. And you may have noticed that a lot of the enemy Pokemon, and indeed our own Pokemon that we're fighting against, have relatively low HP. So Dragon Rage, because it doesn't discriminate, doesn't matter what type your Pokemon is, it's a very OP move. It won't necessarily kill Pokemon in one hit, but it'll definitely bring it to... Within reach, unless it's a Zubatty. In which case, if we demonstrate it, uh, Dragon Rage will just kill it in one hit. And there you go, because it's a fixed 40 damage and Zubatty has 38 health, do the math, he was knocked out straight away. And it's another whitewash, it's another whitewash. Um, I don't intend for this to be the case, but I have got Page in for very good reasons. Like I said, this tournament gets hard very quickly. And I think Paige is there just to make sure things run smoothly. I'm not playing this game to show off my true talents. Forget it. The only talents I have is how to exploit it. That's it. But in terms of, like, difficulty, there's a few things that I'll occasionally um, flout. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, we're on to Swimmer now, who we've, again we've met before. He's got a Polymer, Tortimer, Magima, or Magima, Sloma, Staryurama, and a Nidorama. You know what these Pokemon are. Um, I think Mel would be a good start, just to change things up a bit. Uh, then... Probably Sam. And let's bring Bobby out as well. Why not? Um, the upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. Like I said, the, the, the problem with this tournament is, is that if you use rental Pokemon... It's quite difficult. Oh, you can do it with rental Pokemon. At least at this stage of the game you can. You can do it. But it's still difficult. Which is good because it's a challenge. Whereas if you use your own Pokemon, if you know the exploits available to you, it makes things a bit easier. But anyways. Doesn't mean it's going to be a cakewalk. See, Nidorima now has ma held on with 2 HP. He's hanging on. He's going to use Double Kick. Oh, it was a critical hit. That's not called for. We don't like that sort of thing around here. Ooh, Mel, you're gonna have to get your get your revenge. Let's use Thunderbolt. Give him a good zapping. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'll give you credit, Nidorima. You get it. Like I said, this tournament gets hard pretty quick because there's only one tier. So you know, it's it's it, at least there's no like walkover uh, tier like Pokeball and Great Ball where you can just do it really easily. At least this actually has a pretty good difficulty curve. Although he's thrown out a Magikarp, and let's be honest, Magikarp, bless its soul, is a we all love Magikarp, but it's becking useless. I don't know why Swimmer thought that would be a good choice against my team. Let's just put it out of this misery. There we go. Sorry, Majima. We love you, but... You could have had the evolved form of Majima in this tournament. You can have Gyarados. It will allow it. Even though Gyarados, I think, evolves at level 20. But this tournament is between 15 and 20. So if you don't use exploits, you can have a level 20 Gyarados in this tournament. And it'll be fine. Oh, the game's reset. Oh, it was unexpected. Oh, maybe my Nintendo 64 is having a bit of problems. Okay, well, as I say, I talk about the whitewash here, and then the game decides that I'm having it too easy of a time. And we've got to start again. But that's fine. What I'll do is I'll get back to where we were. May not be with the exact same Pokemon. 
But we'll get back to where we were and we'll carry on. So, with that slight weird development going on here, I'll be back in a mo. And we're back. Sorry about that. Right, okay. So, uh, we are with Swimmer once again. And coincidentally, he has a Magimo, a Magikarp for his second Pokemon. Um, a bit of time has elapsed between the last part of the video and this one. So, if I've mistimed whereabouts we were in the battle last time, I apologise. But that's, this was the Pokemon I remember being knocked out. So, we'll go from here. Uh, and I can't remember which starting Pokemon I had as well. Could have been Mel, could have been somebody else. But either way, we're carrying on. That soft reset does actually happen if there's some dust in the uh, contacts between the cartridge and the system. And I think that's what happened because it seems to be fine now. I'm not saying it won't happen again, but we can get around it. That's the only downside for not emulating is you have to put it with bugbears like that. But either way, Star Yuruma didn't really have much of a starring role in this battle as it's knocked out and the victory is ours. Good old Mel. Very trustworthy, bless her. So, up to this point, I've managed to get continues all the way through. Just charged through it. It wasn't hard. Um, disappointingly, really, as well. Like I said, it's supposed to get harder, but at the moment, not really been that challenging. But we're now going against Burglar! And as you can see, as a plethora of fire Pokemon combined with a Sandlar and Drowlar. So, I think Sam, once again, is going to be a good one. I think we'll have Pages back up in case anything goes wrong. And then I think we'll have Butler. Butler will be uh, another backup as well, should we need him. There's Growl Eye starting with. That's fine. Okay, uh, again, not playing around. Let's just go for the surf. Serve him up some justice. That was a very poor pun, by the way, because I said surf, not surf. But either way, surf's up, Growler. In your face. Sorry, responding to a personal message. There we go. So we have Drowlar next to try and put me out of my misery. The remaining Pokemon Which you're gonna to I say that you're gonna fail to do. Let's let's throw an ice beam out. I should use Surf really, but Drowlar's special is pretty good. So either way, let's see if we can freeze him. No luck. I said he got yeah, that did bugger all in damage. Oh, he's going for the old hypnosis dream eater technique. I'm not sure why. Starmie is a psychic water type. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided. Just a tad. Um, let's get Butler out. I don't want to get Paige out just yet because, like I said, Paige. The reason why I've got Paige is, yes, yeah, she is OP, but again, it gets harder in this tournament, and I want something as a failsafe. It actually just makes recording a bit easier. <laughs> Though it still can go wrong with Paige, but Paige is pretty trustworthy. Oh, he's gone for confusion. Okay, no Dream Eater what then. Now? Perhaps he foresaw what I was going to do. That wasn't end. bad, actually. Oh dear. How will the swap Pokemon fight? Well, hopefully... Ooh, he's. We well, he can't put me to sleep, because you can't have two Pokemon asleep or poisoned. Or par I don't know about paralysis, but I think you can't have them asleep or poisoned. Um, I'm just going to go for the Body Slam. I could use Amnesia, which is a very broken move in this game, but I think What's we'll just that? try and see if we can knock it out. Got to be, yeah, got to be hit. careful with Confusion, because Confusion can, of course, cause confusion. Um, body slam. A savage hit. That did more than I thought. Uh, Drowler's defense isn't that good, and it's level 17, but, but that did the job. Well done, Butler. I love Snorlax. Snorlax is definitely like my favourite Pokemon, if not like top two, top three favourite Pokemon. I just love him to bits. Who doesn't like a Snorlax? Look at that, he's like, you're right, bro. <laughs> he's so chill. Okay, using Ember. I. Ooh, it's burnt me. That's going to cut my attack power in half. Damn it, because Earthquake, I think, would have finished it off, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, it's going to hopefully do more than half. No, it didn't. 
this is good. Okay, Butler, I don't want to lose you at this point in the game. Let's get Paige out. I think Snorlax as well is another OP Pokemon in this tournament. I'm not sure if you can pick him in the rentals, but we'll have a look uh, later on down the line. That'll be a reason why we can. But I think Paige is a good uh, stand-in to keep Butler going. Oh, it's using Body Slam. Okay, it's being clever. Oh, balls. That was not will good. The flow of I hope so, because Dragon Rage will kill it, but yeah. I'm not sure now. That was a good uh, what now? good comeback. The critical hit didn't help either, but the paralysis is what's going to be the killer. Of course, I'm paralysed. Damn it, Paige! Come on! It's paralyzed on the spot. You can do it, girl. I believe in you. Just, just Dragon Rage it. Use your full fury. Get rid of it. Can only body slam anyway. Come on, Paige! Yeah! Good for you, girl. That should have it finished. Unless we get very unlucky. Nah, we got it. I had, see, that's why I had Paige, because I knew, again, the little things like this can turn a battle around. At least for maintaining continues, anyway, at this stage. But trust me, you want to maintain continues where you can. Thank God for that. Well done, Paige. Could have easily have changed to Sam, but Nine Love would have body slammed it, possibly paralysed it. And that could have been it. So, right, on to the second half of the tournament, Battle Five with Mr. Fix. Yeah, he he'll fix it for you. Um, again, this is where things start going up a notch. Yes, his Pokémon aren't necessarily fully evolved, but he's got a Kinglet, a Raichu, and a Porygon. And a level 18 for the Raichin and Porygon. His Porygon can pack quite a nasty punch. Um, so I think... Oh, it's a tricky one to decide on this one. Um, I think Butler would be a good opener because he's got a better type advantage over them. Well, at least a good type coverage, I should say. Uh, Paige definitely needs to be in for this one because it's going to get harder. And then probably... Mel, because Mel has Psychic and Seismic Toss, and it's an electric type, it can resist stuff. Well, we haven't seen Robbie. Not yet. Robbie will have his turn, don't worry. We're in the last we'll have Robbie. Rob Butler. Begin round five. Okay, he's gone for the King Lair, not the type I'd hope he'd start with. Okay. Um. I'm just going to body slam it. I'm not going to bother with Amnesia again. Oh, he's going for body slam as well. Okay. Here's the first move. Uh, 20 damage. That's a good amount of damage. But hopefully we can respond in kind. What will the nice. Okay, not as good as I'd hoped, but it was nice anyway. Um, I think we'll just carry on with the body slam. Hopefully we'll just out-tank him. I hope we don't get paralysed. That would be good. There, it's a hit. If we can paralyse it, that would be really good. But, or well, critical hit. What now? No. Major death. The intense battle continues. Okay, uh, let's Earthquake it, in case he decides to switch out. At this stage, they can start doing that. Nah, we're good. Okay, Butler has taken a lot more punishment than I hoped he would, but he at least is going to finish off the Kingler, and that's fine by me. It might be we might have to chuck away a continue here. Um, so Butler might be sacrificed. I don't like that, but sometimes you've got to make critical decisions. It's tough being a Pokemon trainer. It really is tough, especially when you're in competitive battles like this. Oh, it's it has to make up for lost ground. Hmm. Will Maybe I won't. Maybe I will switch to Robbie. I think Robbie might actually be a good changeover at this point. I don't think I'll have to sacrifice Butler in the end. Oh, if I can say Pokemon. continues, I will. Or at least if I can get continues, I should say I will. Oh, it's oh Robbie. Yep, I thought you would. We should be alright, actually. 
Yep. Will it, do? it missed, because oh, at this stage in Gen it. 1, ghosts were immune to fighting oh, really? and what? normal Pokemon types, fight. which is very handy. Right, going to make sure the recording's going okay, and we're going to continue on. I think Gengar can take on Mankey, Mag no problem. Slight cut off in the commentary there, I got a bit eager when it came to uh, changing recording bits, but I apologise about that. But either way, I, as I was trying to say, I think Gengar will take on Mankey, no problem at all. There we go, nicely done. There's a trouble with Gengar, is again, he doesn't have any dedicated ghost moves that he could utilise his ghost type for, so, but he's got very high special stats, so he, his special moves are definitely the way to go. That's okay, we should be able to finish him off no problem. Well, I say that, Magnemite's got quite a good special, but I think we'd be okay. Consider him going first. I think again Gengar, I'm not sure Gengar can be chosen in this tournament as a rental, I think he can actually. But the, like I said, there's a few, I've said before already, uh, there is a few exploits in this tournament you can do. I love the way he says that. Oops, it's paralysed. Oh, damn that oops. I hate it when I get oopsed. Right, let's go for Thunderbolt, we should be okay with that. Unless we get a critical. Nah. Yeah, it did more than I thought, but we should be fine. Unless we get paralysed, damn it, Robbie! Don't be letting me down now, Robbie. I trust you. Come on. Don't start cocking around with me. Ooh, might have to throw Robbie under the bus. No, Robbie recovered. Let's hope our psychic does enough damage to kill it. Yeah, well done, Robbie. You pulled through. Just like Paige. Nicely done. It's getting tough already. See the difficulty? It jumps up very, very quickly. But that's what I like about this tournament. It's a bizarre tournament, this, but I like it. Same as only one tier, really. But then again, maybe that's the charm of it because it's one tier. But Mr. Fix has been taken down. He didn't use his right shoe or his Porygon. Don't know why, we've had a few of that lately, where they don't use the high-level Pokemon. Must be me. Right, on to Hiker! Good team. See, their team's getting stronger already. A few more evolved Pokemon here and there. Although, he's got a Ghastly rather than a Gengar, but whatever, it's not complaining. Um, hmm. Interesting. I think, again, Sam... I haven't really used Kerry at all, really, have I? I'd love to use Kerry at some point, but I think Kerry will have to hang tight for now. Uh, I think... S I think Sam... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. He's got a level 20 high horn. I just realised that. So his right horn's going to be the one he's going to definitely pull on. Um... Hmm... Sam, Butler, and Paige, I think, would be the best bets for this one. We'll know what we're up against, because it depends on his starting Pokemon, of course. So, let's see. So he's gone for his Higglytuff, which is one letter out for a, a bloody um, name change. But it's a level 15, so that's a chance that he has chosen his High Horn. And I don't know whether that's good or bad. A Wigglytuff's not much of a threat, but with the right moveset can cause problems. Again, more damage than I thought. Mega Kick! Okay, that could that could hurt. Yeah, that's gonna... Okay, not as much as I thought. Again, Wigglytuff, stats-wise, isn't the best, but... I would never underestimate it at this stage in the game, at least for Gen 1. Later on, yeah. But in this case, Higgly Tough, or Higgly Tough, I'm guessing his name is, is taken out. So that's good. So he could still choose his High Horn. We'll see what the next one is. And uh, Because you can only choose a, a combination of levels, so you can only have 55. I reckon he's chosen his high horn because you can only choose um, Pokemon that add up to level 55. So that means you can only have 120 and 215s, for example. If he'd have chosen his 16 or 18, he could still have chosen that, but he would have chosen the other Pokemon instead. 
Now, if he has got his high horn available to him, I'm not too concerned because Paige will be able to take it out no problem. So, I'll stick with Sam. Again, might have to sacrifice a continue, but the thunder... Oh, maybe not! That's... That was lucky. I'll take that. Well done, Sam. I was very lucky. I will. T I, 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 that was good. Good, good, good. I ah, did pick his high horn. Oh, you poor man. Yeah, you say that because it's five levels higher, but a surf will happily take it out. It has indeed. And is about to get no non-sided because we've won. There was no way he was going to survive that, even with just a normal super effective hit. Well done, Sam. A complete whitewash, but well done. Well, that was easy. That was easier than Mr. Fix, anyway. Brilliant. I, we're hopefully, fingers crossed, have got this tournament in the bag. Like I said, Dragonite or Page in this case is our get out of jail free card. I don't want to make this too easy for us. It's not like I'm trying to um, cheat my way to picture or anything. It's just. It's, it's actually, like I said earlier on, it's for recording purposes. It just makes things a bit easier. But having said that, we're now with Lass. And Lass can be a cruel mistress. She does have some good Pokemon. She's got an Arcanine at level 15, a Gyarados at level 20, a Tentacruel at level 20, a Dugong, a Mr. Mime, and then a Meow Wet, just a, I guess, wet or appetite. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. But either way, this is where shit gets real. Lass is a tough foe if you're not planned for it. <sighs> Again, I'm going to have to go with Sam. Sam's the most versatile to start with. Uh, then Paige, in case we get into any difficulties. And then finally... I'm going to go with... Mel! <laughs> I say that hesitantly. Having come this far. As you said before, announcer, absolutely. Oh, you started with Arcanine. Well, that's a bad start for you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Arcanine again. He's definitely one of my top five Pokemon. Not because he's great or got good stats. He's just cool. Right, Big fair. legendary fiery dog. Who doesn't want that? I mean, you've got Entei as an equivalent, but no, I like Arcanine. It won't kill it, but it'll do enough damage. Yeah, didn't think it would. Oh, it's going to use Dig. Interesting tactic. I think Smeed's going to exploit this, and I think Paige would be a good switch out. Why sacrifice Sam when I don't need to? Come back, Sam, we might need you for later. Now, Dragonite's a flying dragon type, so Dig is going to do bugger all. What's that? That's a bit. It is indeed. Right, well, I'm not going to use Dragon Rage this time. Let's use Double Edge. Conventional move. I should go for, look at that. What a jumping move from Ember to Fire Blast. Like I said, it does escalate very quickly. Jesus Christ, how did you get a critical hit on me? That's just mean. Well, Paige is going to Double Edge you to the end of the world. Boom. Yeah, and we shouldn't hit. take any recall damage because that's a bit of a glitch with Gen 1. You, only take re you, you, you wouldn't take recall damage, at least in Pokemon Stadium anyway, what if you KO'd the Pokemon opponent's Pokemon. They fixed it in Gen 2, but in Gen 1, and Pokemon Stadium 2 for that matter, but in Gen 1, oh, <laughs> it was quite easy. <laughs> right, Mr. Mime. I've got a feeling Mr. Mime is going to have an ice attack up its sleeve, so Paige might have to be thrown out. Not against you, Paige, Go just... No, it doesn't. Okay, interesting. It's going for Psychic. Alright, we should be okay. I was going to use Double Edge, but I changed my mind to use Dragon Rage instead. Get it down to 2 HP. Ah. Good. Good. Okay, Paige, hang tight. I think you can survive with the Double Edge. That you can do it unless it gets a critical hit with sidekick we could be in trouble but what'll it do 
Oh, Paige, bless you. Don't worry, you took out Arcanine for us and a mine. Just a mine to two health. That was good. Well done. Like I said, Paige isn't it just a complete get out of jail free card. I think Sam's going to be a uh, comeback for this. Damn straight. Right, back in a sec. Alright, let's do this then. Uh, let's use a surf. Just in case she decides to change Pokemon. Nope, she's not. That's fine. I think we've still got this battle sewn up. No continue, but you know what? At this stage in the game, it doesn't matter. My mess is down. So who has she got now? It's going to be a Gyarados or Tentacruel. Either way, whichever one it is, we're sorted. Okay, don't even bother choosing one of your level 20 Pokemon. Bollocks to it, you just have all your level 15s instead. I don't get your logic, lass. I mean, don't get me wrong, your Cruelette and Gyarados is weak to Mel. That's about it, really. I mean, obviously, you might have guessed Sam had an electric move on it, so did Gengar. I don't quite understand you. And you're going to go for a bite instead. Okay. That? You've hit. gone from an Arcanine with Fire Blast, with a Mr. It's Mime and Psychic, which are very fight. powerful moves for their tights, to a Meowth with Bite. Okay. That was easier than I thought. But again, got lucky because we had Dragonite. I mean, again, I'm cheating a bit here. Not going to lie. But it's allowed. It's allowed. I'm not breaking the game. It's allowed. It is. You can use Dragonite at level 15. How do you get one at level 15? Well, that's exploitation of code. But, you know, you can do it. You're allowed. Right. This is it then. The final battle of this tournament. Let's see. With six continues, we can win it. It could all go wrong here. And it's with Fisher. Didn't expect that. And as you can see... An interesting t uh, choice of Pokemon. Uh, very good levels as well. Uh, so he's got a Clefable. That could be tricky. He's got a Slowbro. Pretty strong. Golduck. Pretty strong. A Dragonair. No Dragonite because the computer's pretty fair with that, like I said. So he got Dragonair, but still, we'll probably know Dragon Rage. Probably need to be careful with that. And then rather than having a Tentacruel, just to make it easier for us, we have a Tentacool. So that's fine. Uh, and then, of course, Raticate as well. Not to forget Raticate. Probably not much of a threat, even at level 18, but it depends on its moveset, I guess. Um... <laughs> Sam's definitely going to be the best all round for this one. Um... I'm going to chuck Kerry in just to see if we can see a bit of her in action. Uh... Yeah, Paige. This is it the final battle! Who will bask in the glory of the championship? Hopefully us. Oh, you've gone for Cafable first. Oh dear. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Surf. Uh, I've got a feeling that Cafable's gonna know Thunder Wave or Thunderbolt. Here's the first move. But I can't. I, the trouble is, I can't know these things until I battle them. A savage hit. Okay. Yeah, I thought so, Thunderbolt, yeah. But uh, Clefable's a very versatile Pokemon. You can't really mess around with that. Oh, Jesus Christ! Well done, Sam, for hanging in there. But, oh, buggering balls. Okay, Sam, you're going down. Sorry, bro. You're going to have to take it one for the team. So if you get a critical hit with Surf, we might be in business. But, no, no, look. Probably used it all up already. Yeah. Oh, that was unfortunate. Bugger. That's not good. Sam was critical and we lost him. Okay, Kerry, it's your turn to take out a fable. Let's hope she can. Right, go on, Kerry. Uh, their body slam, I think, would be safe. Yeah, we should finish it. That should, that should take it out. Body slam. Could have used yeah, Fire Blast, but Fire Blast isn't 100% accurate. Wow. Didn't want to throw it away. Not safe. 
Oh, submission. But submission's got very low accuracy. I think it's about 80%. So. Wouldn't be surprised if it's his Dragonair. No, it's Slowbro. Okay, no, that's still not good for us, unfortunately. Uh, no. It's a toughie, this one. I don't want to... Rep I think Kerry's going to have to take a hit for us. <sighs> None of the moves, really, we have already effective against it. So Body Slam again is going to be the end of for us. What this? If we get its health below 40, then we're okay. It's my killer! Sorry, Gary! <laughs> you hung in there! Well done! Another body slam! Get your health below 40 so that page can finish the job off. Nice! That'll do! Sorry to throw you under the bus, Kerry, but you've done your bit. Oh, it's using Psychic just to show Psychic off. Uh, Bye, Kerry. Thank you. I'm sorry you only have one brief glimpse of this tournament, but you served us There's well. It's up down to you, Paige. Don't, don't let us down, girl. I don't want Kerry to have been uh, used for nothing. Again. It's one Pokemon against Dragon Rage now. for the win. At least the against Slowbro. Excellent. They don't have it in Gen 1, you didn't have held items or Pokemon Rocket abilities, Rage. so it was just down to stats. Oh, Brilliant. Okay, down. so now comes the battle. Who's he got at the end? It all We're comes down, down to, to this. Oh, I'm nervous. It is his Dragonair. Oh, Oh no! We should be faster than it. We should There's be able to. I could use Blizzard, the but I'm not going to. It's just going to be a Dragon Rage. Oh, we go first. That's good. But if it knows Ice Beam, we're finished. There's no way we can win. If it knows Ice Beam or Blizzard, we're screwed. Which I think it does. No, it's using Dragon Rage. You failed, son. You should have used Ice Beam or Blizzard. I'd have been out. Yes, you're the, the pre-evolution of Dragon uh, Dragonite, but we're a Dragon Flying type, so we're quadruple weak to ice, whereas you're not, but you just threw it under the bus. Oh, that was close. Very, very close. See, I could have easily have had a level 15 Dragonair and probably still beaten him, but either way, I'll take it. Oh, that was tough. Told you, it just escalated the last couple of battles. We were lucky with last, we just escalates that quickly. But we did it. Me beat him. Bit of cheating, but we beat him. Who'd have thought Fisher was the last to, uh, last trainer in this tournament? I thought it was Pokemaniac, but I'm clearly confusing that with another cup. But either way, we have done the pick a cup. With a little bit of cheating, but we've done it. Like I said, good tournament. I, I enjoy it. It's pointless, but I enjoy it. But only one tier, like I said. Um, same with the Pika Cup. It's only got the one tier. And then the Prime Cup has four tiers. With the uh, Pega Ball, Great Ball, Launch Ball, and Master Ball. But well done, team. Well done, indeed. And that's only because Pokemon Blue and Red, for that matter, is so easily broken and exploitable. Ugh. But well done, guys and girls. You did us proud. Excellent. Right, that's that cleared then. So, uh, that will bring an end to this video. Sorry if it's a little bit shorter than normal, but it's only one cup, that's all we needed. So next time, uh, we're going to go back to the Gym Leader Castle and do the next three Gym Leaders. So that'll be Erica, Koga and Sabrina. And then after that, we'll go back to the Stadium and we'll do the Pika Cup, because I'm currently building a team for the Level 100 Prime Cup. Um... So you'll have to wait till then. But until then, can I say thank you very much for watching if you have done. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know in the comments how I'm doing. Yes, of course, a couple of exploits here and there. But let us know, favourite Pokemon? What Pokemon would you have used for this tournament so far? What moves would they have held? You know, or how did you do if you played this game back in the day in terms of your progress? Did you finish the game? What teams did you use? Did you use your own or just rental? Whatever, I'd like to hear it. But until then, have a good one. Take it easy. Stay safe in these troubled times. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.
Oh, which button is it? That, that button. God damn it. One of these days I'm going to say goodbye for now and do it smoothly. But anyway. <clears throat> Bye for now.